Hello everybody. I'm finally getting to do my Asian Cup jersey review. Again, we'll do it in six videos, one for each group. And I can also tell you I'll be wearing this same Australia shirt here for every single one of them. I mentioned it before. It's my only country where I have a shirt that's present here at the Asian Cup. Ah, yes. Probably should have a few more Asian jerseys. I think Japan I should have for a long time. Never got around to that one, although the one in 2006, this one is from two, that was the one that I almost bought. Um, yeah, there are surely other nations, and there are quite some, there are some shirts that I like here too, that will look into it. Uh, we have, of course, four nations that have been already at the World Cup, and I look at the rating that I gave them back then and whether there will be any adjustments made, uh, now having seen them a little bit more in action and maybe some comparisons, but you know, I will try to stay consistent. You can read more on these jerseys on my blog. The link is in the description below. Just go on competitions, World Cup 2018, and then you'll find it. Also, I'm shooting these now just after the group stage, kind of late in the game. Uh, so I'm still very happy with Australia. <laughs> in a way, um, we have already eight teams eliminated. I still want to get this uh, jersey review done because it's interesting. And probably I'll be done with this jersey review once the quarterfinal is already set. So when everything is posted, um, these videos are quite some work, <laughs> I have to admit. Uh, it took me now a good two hours to set them all up. Maybe, uh, yeah, pretty much good two hours to set them all up. Uh, Post production, one hour per video. The shooting, I will try to keep it short, although this one now with already a two-minute introduction will not be that short. But let's get straight to it. Group A with um, the hosts, the United Arab Emirates, and that's the first one we'll be looking at. And the home kit, from a distance, I said it in a review before, it looks like a standard Adidas kit. But um, if you look closer, it is basically a white version of the current Germany away jersey. Um, which looks overall nice, but I feel the um, white undersells the overall pattern. Yes, it is heavily patterned, but from a distance it looks like a standard Adidas shirt and it loses a little bit the nice feel that this pattern showed uh, with Germany. If this was in color, um, I think this would look a whole lot better. And for that reason, I'm afraid, yeah, I think the crest is interesting of the UAE. Um, there's nothing basically wrong with this shirt per se, just, you know, close up, it looks much better than from a, from a distance for that. I'll give it seven stars. The away kit is way more interesting because here you can actually see the pattern and um, it's the same pattern that we saw relatively hidden at the Spain away jersey at the World Cup. And also, uh, Scotland has a very similar pattern, but it's by far not as visible. If you go on my blog, I recently wrote about uh, the Scotland uh, home jersey with this pattern, where you just have the outlines, you don't have anything of this crazy, almost feather-like pattern. And that, I think, is the cool part of this shirt, that, you know, you have kind of, if you look at the crest, there's kind of an eagle in there, although, I mean, it's the... The flags make kind of two wings uh, around the UAE. In any case, this is kind of, you have this feathery feel to it. The pattern, of course, is a very famous one. That's the one that the Dutch wore in 1988 when they won it all. Now, um, that's basically the best part of it. The worst part is that it's not very coherent. I like that it's green, but you kind of see already on the pattern there are two shades which kind of make it more interesting, but then you have another shade in the color. You have the white uh, stripes and then you have black sleeves and those black sleeves come out of nowhere. Yes, black is the base color where the pattern is put onto, but I think it just looks a little bit too odd. I mean, it, it looks like the sleeves are grafted on. I'm okay with the black shorts and the black socks uh, on the entire kit, but the black sleeves and the, with the red trim, I'm um, not too fond of this. It, it looks a little bit too messy. It's probably the most special kit that um, 
Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll see some nice ones even today. Um, but he's among the more special kids at this uh, Asian Cup. But it just doesn't live quite up to the billing. And for that, I think I would give it only five stars. No, I don't really see it. It just, there's something missing here. There's something missing. Also, the pattern, why it has to come with the UAE, it's a whole different story. I even was asking myself that for Scotland. For Spain, it made some sense, but there you barely could see it. Next up in this group is Thailand, who have kits by Vorix. It's the first time that I'm looking at a Vorix shirt. And they have the Adidas color of 2018. If you look at it, it's the V-neck that is cut right here. But other than that, it's a very simple dark blue shirt, but it has some uh, sketches in there. It's kind of a very textured material. I think almost a headed pattern in a way, uh, which makes it a lot more interesting. Uh, I do like the Thai crest, although I'm not sure what this is, but it's, it is something different for sure to look at, um, and also the slight red accents. And then, you know, there's the white specks. Are there? Yeah, there may even be a few red specks. This is actually a little bit inspiration taken from the France Away shirt, I would say, but looks actually quite nicer. Um, it also makes the um, Chelsea currently at home, it has a similar one. The only thing that I'm not sure, although it makes sense, but uh, you have this piping here, uh, over the sleeve cuffs make it go around because you have it go around the collar but I overall like this shirt here we see it in action against Oman we'll talk about Oman in a bit even the numbering style on here is uh, quite nice you know I like dark blue shirts and for that reason I'm gonna give this um, full yeah let's give it eight stars uh, the away kit is red, which I wonder why we choose red when we have already a dark blue. It's kind of dark, <laughs> a dark, uh, dark, um, and uh, completely different um, makeup. It's switching the colors, but instead of using all the specs, it uses kind of this gradient, similar to what Portugal had in 2014, where we have two tones of red horizontally going and switching shades and the stripes becoming thicker to the bottom, uh, which gives the shirt kind of some nice structured feel. But I think for me, the main gripe here is that the color doesn't contrast too well um, with the home jersey. Although this one has actually been used, and I think purely for commercial reasons, in their game against the Emirates, uh, where I think they got the, the, got the draw to advance. Um, I would give it seven stars um, out of 10. It looks overall all right. And Talent also has a third shirt that we haven't seen now. And in many ways, it is almost the best one because it uses a contrasting color, but it shows off the weird shape of the color. I really would like that this goes down in a triangle, or, you know, some pattern, even you can do the Adidas equipment thing, but I guess copyright will prevent it. But um, this contrasting color makes a whole lot of difference. And then it uses red accents um, all over in little specks, also a little bit blue in there. It does look a lot like the France away jersey, but in a way it looks a little bit more classy because it has a certain um, classic cut to it. Uh, for that, I actually like it a whole lot better. Um, Still, it has a certain pajama feel. I cannot get past it as well. I mean, if I look at it at first, it looks really good, but the more if you look closer, hmm, uh, yeah. Uh, nah, I still, I'm gonna go the same. I mean, it's nicely contrasting. The specs are nice. Do I like it better than the home jersey? Let me just have a look. There's just something about it. I'll give it the same score. Although uh, I don't like necessarily the spec pattern, but I give this an eight star like the home jersey. Then the team that I fell in love with and that's our fortunate already eliminated, India. 656 is the supplier and boy did they deliver great kits. I mean I don't know why India is playing in blue, I guess I have to look uh, that one up, but 
the blue and then the orange tiger stripes on the sleeves. It looks a lot like a Nike shirt, uh, but it's not. I mean, it's the raglan cut that Nike is now uh, currently specializing in. I honestly have to say these are the most adventurous kits at this Asian Cup and I, overall I love them a lot. The only thing that I, if I look at the crest, the orange probably should have matched up with the orange from the flag and maybe put a little bit green. I even think if the shoulders would be like an Indian flag thingy, that would be really nice. The crest looks alright except there's a soccer ball in there. Use the wheel from the flag. Don't have the soccer ball there. That doesn't make any, any sense. Um, the numbering style that was used was rather plain. Uh, uh, but yeah, I think it's overall a pretty decent looking shirt. And I also will give this one. I think this is the most. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with nine stars here because it's. Um, you know, for a nation like India, you need to make a splash. If this was, say, uh, Germany, no way. Uh, for an African team, yes, you can work this. And I think for India, this works as well. The away jersey is basically the same in white. White with orange accents also looks pretty good. Uh, it's just that the crest looks... Nah, it actually fits. The orange should be a little bit lighter. Use the orange that they had to use for the manufacturer logo. Oh. Here I should be pointing. Uh, then I think in both cases, there's a lighter orange that uh, corresponds to the orange, orange in the flag. That would make it even nicer. Still, um, I didn't like that it was worn with black, uh, with a black font. But that was the one jersey where they dazzled against Thailand. Um, yeah, black font on the, that one. That we can discuss. I think uh, orange font would have done quite nicely on this one too. Um, but for some reason blue and orange looks better than white and orange and for that reason only eight stars. But India, I really really love your shirts. And I also love the shirts of Bahrain. But uh, I, said, I, I did say Oman before, I'm sorry. It was Bahrain. Bahrain are the only Macron shirts and you already know that Macron produces really nice kits and if you look at just the home kit it's very custom-made, very simple, but extremely beautifully done. Um, I like the color. The crew neck with the little V on the, on the front um, reflects kind of the crest of Bahrain a little bit. Also, you know, Bahrain has a flag with uh, similar to Qatar, a lot of uh, triangle, uh, red uh, field uh, with triangles intersecting into uh, white fields. So maybe that, that's a reference to that one. The plain red shirt but with the golden outline um yes gold doesn't make much sense maybe for bahrain because they have not been winning a lot but if you look at the crest it makes a whole lot of sense in that regard and then on the sleeves you have this kind of um arabic star pattern absolutely wonderful uh even complemented with the shorts with the um, golden outline macaron did an outstanding job there i might actually revise that this is the best kit of the asian cup i really have to say this is an absolutely outstanding great kit the red one i'm gonna give this the 10 stars that it deserves the away kit is the same in white and like with india it doesn't quite connect as much to me it still has the star pattern it has all the same features it's just that the gold doesn't stand out as much uh, and for that i think i have to only go with eight stars here uh, it drops off that much for me the home kit is really an absolute beauty absolute marvel well there you have it those are the group a kits let me know what you thought about this which ones you like which ones you dislike uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.